What is up guys, it's Soulbash and we've got something exciting. I've been looking for an RPG to get back into because I love them. Mew Origin just released last night. By the time you see this video, this was recorded at the time that the servers just released, they just opened up. When you first open the game, guys, I am in US West. I'm going to be on Origin 3. There are US West, US East, and Europe. So I'm gonna be in US West, Origin 3, and we're going to start there. And now this is Mew Origin. Okay, a little backstory. This game is very old. This game originally came out on PC in December of 2001. And these are the characters that are currently available. You have the Dark Knight, which is freaking cool looking. He's got the dragon armor on with the wings and dual blades. Now this is the in game uh, gear that you're looking at. The Dark Wizard, he's a magic caster pretty badass looking and you've got the elf as well which is going to be more of like a healer support but she does a lot of single target damage now if you've seen me play this on stream this past week i did get to play it a little bit but we're starting over on a brand new server and i'm going to be a dark knight let's call him soul bash and let's create a character Waited 15 years for the hero to return, and it is now here. Let's start the expedition. Look at all of the people that are on already. It just came out. This game, I'm telling you guys, this is huge. All right, this is gonna be a lot of auto quests kind of to begin with. Look at everybody, dude. All right, just to give you an idea of how big this game was back in the day, it wasn't very large for the United States. But in a lot of Spanish speaking countries and I believe where it originated from was I think Korea. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was Korea. That is where this game originally came from. And this is a mad dash to get this done first. And oh my goodness at the amount of people on here. All right, so it does have auto battle on it. You do have different skills that you'll get as you level up. Currently we're level three and we're just doing quest. Go ahead and accept that. Now we have a new sword already, so let's equip it. We originally didn't have a sword, but guys, from 2001 until just recently, this game has had over 10 million players. Very, very popular game. Amazing graphics for it to be an old game. They ported it over to mobile. They did the twists, turns, set it up to where it would work correctly with it and now it is out live and we're going to go ham on it i love this game i did play it quite a bit back in the day on pc my brothers actually played it for a lot longer than i did one of them played it for like seven years so this game is very addicting very fun and very challenging we got some more gear auto equip it we're up to 912 cp all right, and while that's attacking, I'm gonna go look at the rewards. So we got a consecutive login reward. I'm gonna claim it. Let's see what we get. Can we get something good? All right, we got a jewel of bless. I'll show you what those are for. And we've got accumulated login. Now these are just for, I guess, logging in every day. All right, we got a quest. Quests do pop up once you're done with them. So I'm gonna claim that. Got another jewel of bless, and we're automatically still going on to the next fight cool thing about this pretty much any menu you go into you're gonna be able to continue fighting in the background regardless of what you're doing now before you fanboys jump out and say oh this is a copy of this this is a copy of that this is a copy of tai chi panda i do honestly i don't want to hear that shit for one this game is way beyond older than what snail games ever thought about being and yeah this company actually does run one of snail games games but I don't play it it's a pc game let's continue here now this is the chick you're going to go to when you rebirth now we're going to get into that later uh because once you rebirth you basically start back over at level one but you're stronger and check this out everybody in the game gets wings now look all right we've got it upgraded we're going to equip it and let me go back out check it out i got wings already so let's go on to the next quest 
Now, you do have a main quest line. You've got daily quests right here. And if you hit that little arrow, you have target quests as well. So I would recommend doing your daily main quests first, not the dailies, but your main quest. That way you can actually get to it a lot faster. You're going to level up. You're going to get to a point where you're going to have to grind a little bit to get experience to continue on to the next quest. But it's no problem because you've got so many other options to go through when you first start this game and start out. All right. I mean, look, we're already level 15 magic leather helm. We're going to equip that. Let's see if we can't go out here and get these three kills. Now the kills will increase. Uh, the highest I saw them get up to last time was, I believe, 25 kills, but it wasn't really hard. Now, this game does have what they call PKing in it, player killing. Uh, it's open world. You can PvP just about anywhere unless it states otherwise. All right, we've got another reward while that's running. Daily login. All right, we got three minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 40 minutes. We're going to go ahead and just claim that first one, see what we get. We got, all right, Holy Water of Mana, okay. And let's go ahead and continue on. We're gonna report down here. We're already level 17. Now, when you first start out, it's not gonna take you long to get up very uh, high. Uh, you're probably gonna get to level 90 to 100 pretty quick the first time. But you see that at the very top left, it says zero rebirth and then your level beside it. Once you hit level 100, you can rebirth it's going to increase your stats and put you back at level one. Cool thing about that is every time you rebirth, you're going to get some extra stuff. You're going to have extra stats. And also, before I even get into anything, new server event, they've got all kinds of stuff going on right there. Twist and slash. All right, we got a new ability, and I believe it's going to show us that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and jump into this. This is going to be the first dungeon we come across. And oh my God, this dude looks like he had a bad time with a period because he's bleeding out of his boots. What the hell? All right. Auto battle automatically starts out. That was the twisting slash you seen that I just got a while ago. It's going to spin around and do that move. Does quite a bit of damage and you can level these things up. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish these guys off. There's going to be two more skeletons right up here with the boss. And we should be able to take him out with no problem. This is the Death King. Now this is going to be the normal mode. Then they have hard modes and then they have hell mode for these dungeons. Now the dungeons, the, the quests are obviously gonna take it, take you through it. Oh, we missed one, okay. All right, so we got an epic salamander sword. So we got a better sword. Go ahead and equip that. And let's go ahead and leave here and get back into it. That way we can go ahead and continue leveling up maybe we can get a rebirth in uh we're already at level 25 so all right we got a magic leather helm a lot of stuff happening right here we completed act one that's the dungeon and it's going to pop up right there as you see like i told you there's a lot of different ones you do you unlock after you rebirth and if you go into it like i said normal elite and hell three times two times and one time that you can do those you get rewards for them and a lot of experience so i do recommend you guys doing those but we're going to continue on with this quest let's go ahead and check the rewards a level reward and even though it did just take me to another zone look i'm still in the same thing i was in i'm able to go right back to it we got another jewel of bless 150,000 bounds in and the coin in this game is called zen you're going to have two different types of zen you're going to have bound zen and regular zen you're going to have bound diamonds and regular diamonds so that is going to be whoa let's check out that inventory real quick sort that all right we got some epics that we can't use uh can't use that yet i don't believe no all right now take a look at that hold on let me get this next quest started okay it's still going now we'll go back in the inventory and look at this like it, we were just doing all right now this is a brass necklace we can equip it but look here it's got a required strength and required agility level so you have to have 240 strength and 200 uh, and 96 agility for you just to be able to equip this now for that to get to that go to skills uh, skills are what you're going to be looking at for doing your uh, attacks with these are your different abilities we got some new pants so go ahead and put those on and all right let's accept that quest now the stats i was just talking about on the item 
if you go all right let me let me back in here hold on let me go ahead and start this again right there all right we're moving go back into the inventory all right first tab stats all right it's going to show you every stat that you have on your character and look you're going to want to turn auto stat off you're going to want to do your own custom build the way you want to auto stat it's just going to put it wherever it feels appropriate for the uh character that you're playing now there is going to be some little bit of lag at some point in the game because there are so many people on right now it just came out and i promise you there's probably already over a thousand people on this server already and it's gonna fill up quick just a reminder we are on us west origin 3 uh we've got we're level 39 already so it goes pretty quick to begin with but once you hit rebirth one you're going to notice it's going to start tapering off and slowing down really quick uh, we do have dungeon lit up so let's check that out okay it's basically wanted me to run a dungeon but i'm going to save those until i get done with these quests because once you get to a certain rebirth and a certain level you're going to have to level up to a the about i'm going to say the first time probably four levels for you to be able to start the next main quest in your quest log but once you get there, you'll be able to do your daily quest and your target quest. So you should be able to get those pretty quick. If not, just jump, jump in your dungeons and do those. They also have daily dungeons that come out. Uh, that'll unlock pretty soon. You have party dungeons and endless towers. So there is a lot going on already in this game because they just had, what, 16, 17 years to develop this game. So it's very well polished pretty much everything that you think should be in the game and working it's gonna be there we have what we got to kill four of these now one thing to note on these monsters that we're killing if you can see i've only got one of four somebody over there killed one before i got the kill shot now it doesn't matter who attacks it and if you've seen that right up there that little silver looking thing that was an elite uh spawn boss uh, they're random spawns I'm not sure uh, if you look at the maps once you get in you'll be able to actually see what actually spawns where it'll tell you right on the map it's pretty cool all right we got some more gear let's collect some more stuff let's just keep questing all right we got some look at all the people this is crazy all right let's go ahead and accept this uh, we're done in that menu so we can get out of there and let's continue on with the next quest it automatically teleported me to where I needed to go and now it's going to walk me over to talk to the next person I need to talk to. We're going to get some items to be able to craft. That's a devil key and a devil's eye. What those are for, we're going to show you right here. You can go into crafting and you have the devil square and cloak of invisibility. Now these are tickets that you're able to enter certain uh, dungeons for. Uh, and they only start about every 30 minutes and they're alternated. So you don't really have to worry about trying to stay out too long you're going to be able to catch them. Now, if you can see and notice every one of the different characters, there's only three currently in the original game. I believe it was seven by the end of it. Uh, this is another dungeon right here. This is the devil square. This is one thing you're able to go into and just look at all the experience you're able to get. Your experience is going to pop up at the bottom, right? Just kind of right above that first skill right there. I'm going to go ahead and kill this metal ball rock cool thing about it as well you see at the top my health and mana dropping once you hit a certain percentage you can set it up to where you use a mana potion or a heal potion once you drop below a certain percentage I believe the default is 60% but hey we've already got this guy beat uh, we can uh, increase our stats but check it out we got the leather uh, necklace so we're gonna go ahead and equip this we're gonna go back and let's see what else we can get into All right, that's the double square. We got the ring right there. And let's go ahead and start this, except, and all right, we got five to kill, so let's look at stats. All right, we have some undistributed points, and it's gonna improve CP. Uh, what do we have right now? It looks like we have 70 points. I'm gonna dump all of this straight into strength because that's what I want. I wanna be able to do a lot of damage to begin with. Then I'll appropriate the rest of them wherever they need to be. 
Uh, energy, I don't really see me going with a whole lot of energy. Stamina, of course, is going to be health. We're going to confirm this, and that's done. You also have fruits that you can increase it with, and your tributes you can see as well. Let's go ahead and go through here. Now, we still got to go back and kill these guys. And like I was telling you about the event tabs, these are the ones right here. All right, so there's 16 minutes until Devil Square opens. It's four star rated for experience and it's got five star rated equipment from it. Blood Castle is another one. Uh, it opens up in one minute. Uh, we got to be level 70 to get in it first, but it's got a lot of experience and that's where you can get jewels from. You got world bosses, all kinds of crazy stuff already in the game rageful blow we got another ability already uh let's see we got golden forces you can get pits they uh help you with stats i'm not really sure what all they help you with uh you got vip only stuff that you can get into which i mean it's appropriate it's a it's a mobile game of course you're gonna have vip statuses in it and crystal mine those are two other things that you'll be able to get into now let's continue on and this is probably gonna be a very long video. The game just released and I just started recording right after I downloaded it. So this is the next dungeon that we're going into. We unlocked it, we're level 55 currently already. Uh, we should go down, it's gonna be a little nook. We're gonna be able to kill a couple things down here and that's gonna drop an ice shield that lets us get to this werewolf that is up here, which is the boss. That's that new ability I just got. It smashes down and stuns enemies for two seconds. It's pretty cool. And here's the Wolf King, the guy that I was talking about. He's blue in this one. Device is charged. That's awesome. We're at 100%. So it's auto battling, killing this guy. And guys, you honest, you don't have to auto battle. If you want to appropriate this stuff yourself, hey, you can auto attack. You can use your own skills. It's just whatever you want to do. But auto attacks gonna run me right there to begin with once I get into won't not actually farm stuff he dropped a lot of epic stuff okay so we got some epic leather armor and let's go ahead and go back to Noria and there are a couple different cities in this place uh, Noria I believe is one of them that's I think the main starting city for some of the people uh, and then you have another one called Laurentia now that's gonna be probably the major hub for like trading and exchanging stuff because in this game you, if it's not bound, and I'll show you what I mean by if it's not bound, open the inventory. You see the locks on the bottom left of the icons right there? They're locked, so you cannot get rid of them. You have to use them or you can disassemble them. Now, I'm going to use these gems. These gems are used to uh, level up your skills. As you can see right here, I can level up Twist and Slash. It's going to increase the damage it does. You can increase multiple times and let's go ahead and take them up to five and we're good right there for now and we have more stats that we can appropriate now uh let's distribute these um you know what let's go ahead and fill it up with strength all right let's go ahead and accept that keep filling this up maybe we can hold it down nope you just have to keep tapping it but you're going to get a lot of these points to begin with and I really don't want to go through a whole lot of the text. I'm trying to stay ahead of what everybody's getting to because there's a lot of people playing. I don't want to get mixed in with them because once you get up a certain point, you're not going to be able to get many kills in because, like I said, the way you get your kills for the quest is you have to be the one that does the killing blow to the person. doesn't matter if it's a normal mob. doesn't matter if it's an elite mob. You have to get that killing blow or else you're not going to get the loot from it. All right, let's continue on. We got stats again. So let's put them back in here. And we'll start putting some in agility because I know I'm going to need agility. So let's level that up. Well, we'll say to about... Actually, let's just dump the rest of them in agility. Because our strength's already 160 plus the 15 we're going to put in there. 175 and 86. So we're not far from being able to equip that piece of gear right there that i was talking about so we're at what 240 and 86 we only need 10 more agility to equip that uh let's sort this stuff and let's see what we got uh make sure we're actually fighting first okay we got those done it's completed we're going on to the next one and okay we're done there collect it and we got a new item i don't know if i actually want to use that or not you know what 
it's more CP. It's hopefully going to do more damage. This early in the game, I'm not too worried about getting the correct gear. And check out that gear. You can get gold, white, all different kinds of colors of different gear, depending on the quality of the stuff that you level it up to. And that is pretty much going to be a huge in-depth video right there on just how to do that stuff because you can, in the old game, you could break your gear and lose it completely. I don't think that is in here now. It might be, but there are items that keep you from failing or breaking it. So that's good. I believe you can up items all the way to 15, I believe. And we got some more magic scale armor. So scale armor for a DK, which is what I am, that's going to be one of the first gear sets that you really get. And then you'll progress from there. Just doing the quest, you're going to be able to get the gear from it. Um, I don't think we need to really check on anything currently. Right now we're level 69 already within what? We played for 20 minutes. We're already level 69. That's awesome. It throws you right into the game and doesn't slack up. You can play this game literally for hours. I think the first time I played it, I probably sat here and played for almost 12 hours straight last week. All right, we got the auction house unlocked. All right, what that is, is what exactly it means. You can put items in there, buy, sell them, pretty much any kind of item you got, you can sell it. And let's go ahead and go over here. And you can buy them for either diamonds or you can do Zen. Uh, just whichever one you guys want to use when you're buying stuff from the auction house. Uh, we'll probably cover that more in depth in another video as well. 23,000 experience from that. 280,000, I'm sorry, wow. All right, rewards. We got level rewards, so let's grab them. All right, we're already level 70. Okay, those are complete. Continue on with our quest. And I would just love to actually sit there and read all this stuff, but we don't have time for that. Not right now. We're trying to get up. All right, we've already been on for 20 minutes already. What do we get? Give us a good jewel. Jewel of Chaos, nice. All right, and let's continue here. Going on, and guys, I'm gonna continue playing. I do recommend you download this game. We're gonna craft some stuff real quick. Cloak of Invisibility, that's gonna be used for Blood Castle. Blood Castle is a pretty cool place because you're able to get a lot of experience, especially if you get in there by yourself because it is multiplayer. So you're gonna have other people in there and it's gonna tell you how many people are in there. But guys, thanks for watching this. Sorry this is such a long video, but this is the first time I've actually been able to sit down and record this game. It is out now. I'm on US West Origin 3. If you want to play, download the game. Any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.